These are the preview exercises for College Algebra Lesson 29. Number one, evaluate each of the following. So part A says f of f inverse of x. So remember that f and f inverse are functions that undo each other. So you're going to feed an x into the f inverse machine, take the result, feed it into f. f will undo whatever f inverse did, so you'll get the x back. You get a round trip when you um, run a function machine and it's inverse back to back. And the order doesn't matter. Okay, so here I'm running x through the f machine. I get some output y. I'm going to feed that into f inverse, and it will undo whatever f did and give me the x back. Number two, what problem do you encounter when using the switch and solve strategy to find the inverse of f of x equals 2 to the x? So let's go ahead and try to do it. So the switch and solve um, strategy says make the f of x a y. Then you switch the x's and y's. Y's become x's, x's become y's, so we have x equals 2 to the y. And then we're supposed to solve for y. And how to get y out of an exponent? We don't know how to do that, how to undo 2 to the y. So a lot of people might suggest something like taking the yth root, but there's no way to do that. Um, so I'm stuck here. with y in the exponent. Number three, 25 to what power gives five? That is 25 raised to the what equals five? Well, it can't be one because 25 to the one is 25. It can't be two because 25 squared is 625. It's gotta be smaller than one. 25 to the zero is one so let's write down some of what we said. So we said 25 to the 0 is 1. 1 is too small. I want something that gives me 5. But 25 to the first is 25. So it has to be a number between 0 and 1 to give me 5, because 5 is between 1 and 25. So what I do know is that the square root of 25 is 5, and I can write a square root as a fractional exponent Power on top, root on the bottom. So I'll say 25 to the 1 half power. That equals 5.